all right y'all what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i figured i'd throw an extra one in here for y'all i've been driving on the car for a few days since i installed the uh the top mount shroud and man i gotta say i gotta figure out which way i want to go here uh it's just i mean it, it i figured i'd throw an extra video in here for you know for the week and uh talk to y'all about something i think is yeah, I mean, y'all think y'all need to hear about the uh, that top mount shroud. So one thing about that thing is what I've noticed over the past few days of riding with this thing on here. I've noticed that the temperature of the, uh, the intake charge coming in, not the intake manifold, the temperature of the air, it's been anywhere from uh, two to three, two to three degrees cooler. So I, I think that's pretty significant just to just to add that shroud. So hold on, let me roll these windows up. For any of y'all that may be thinking about getting, you know, the uh, the Mishimoto uh, top mount intercooler, in my opinion, I think it'd be a good idea to uh, to go on ahead and order the, uh, the the shroud with it because it seems like uh, with the with the um, if you get the factory, if you use the brackets that help you retain the factory uh, engine cover, the engine cover, it actually cuts off some of the vents on the bottom and at, at least one at the bottom and two or three at the top. So you're not getting as much air flowing by the intercooler fans as you, sh as you should. But with this, it seems like it, it, it actually focuses the air from that's coming into the scoop and it forces more cool air through the intercooler faster. So I think that's been, that's been, I mean, I've been seeing really good cooling temperature times. I mean, I mean, temperature times, uh, cooling temperature. Like right now it's 90, 91 degrees out here right now. And I'm at around 97 and I'm not even going that quick. I'm only really going like 50 miles an hour, but I'm on the street. I'm not on the highway and nothing like this. So it's a bunch of trees and stuff. So it only gets even, even better like before out of all the other things that I've done to the car, um, I've seen anywhere, I mean, from 10 degrees, if it's hot, like at 90 degrees, it's usually 10 degrees difference between from what's outside. So if it's 90 outside, I got 100 degrees coming in to the, uh, the intake. But now since I've done this, it's 90 degrees out here and I'm like within seven or eight degrees. And if I'm on a highway, I'm usually within five degrees, anywhere from four to five degrees of the uh, outside Use temperature the than what's coming into the intake. So it's, a, it's like a definite improvement. I mean, it, it's, it's so much of improvement that I felt like I needed to make a video on it just in case somebody's thinking about getting a, a Mishimoto um, top mount intercooler. You might want to get that shroud that comes along with it. It's like an additional 90 bucks, but hey, it's worth it in my opinion because you're getting more air. I mean, it almost seems like that the the factory engine cover helps keep retain heat that's coming from but the bottom of the motor up. It keeps it focused in that area. But since I removed it and that's more open, I can be on the drive and I usually do like anywhere from a, a 20, 30 minute drive, traffic and all of that coming home. And I pop the hood just curious at what the temperature is like we you know now that i've taken that engine cover off and it seems like the engine bay is cooler so all in all i think it's a good idea to actually do that so i mean i i mean i i'm just giving y'all my opinion y'all man i just think it'd be a good idea if you if you were interested in getting it get that shroud as well because it helps direct more air into the uh, intercooler and it doesn't block off all the fins hold on I mean, this, I'm loving having this thing, dude. So, uh, I just want to take y'all on a quick little ride and, and, and talk to y'all about that. Cause I just, I thought that was important to, to mention to y'all, maybe do a video on it, you know, and, and, and let you guys know what I've been seeing on this thing as far as after I added that, that shroud on here, man. So it's definitely an, an improvement in the temperature of the air temperature going into your intake. So, uh, now on the other video that when I actually, uh, 
installed it because it, you know what i tell you what let me uh let me work my way to the house we'll get in the garage and then uh we'll talk more about about that later so i, I i'll be right all right y'all so what i was trying to show y'all before like you see right there where it's lifted up i'm kind of i'm having a hard time here i'm trying to hold the, the light and the camera at the same time but right in there you see what it is humped up right there Hold on, let me see if i can set the camera down okay you see right there right over here where it's humped up at it's humped up right there and over there on this side too right along that seal you can also see okay like i was showing y'all before about this this area right here because of how the um how big the top mount is the mishimoto top mount is and it was pushing the uh the stock um engine cover up it was pushing into this and bending this thing like i was showing you before and so it kind of ruined that seal so i got an idea on how i want to try and correct that problem so my idea is to stuff something in between here to push this thing out like that on both sides here and then i was going to heat it up with a heat gun to where it'll, it'll get soft and then push it down and then remold itself to where it is actually it'll create a better seal around these right here <clears throat> so let me uh i'm gonna set all of that up all right y'all so that's kind of how i did it i stuffed that in there because you see how it's bulged out now on both sides so run the heat gun on there been sitting for a minute so let's pull that out all right let's get my light here and just see what we're looking like you know what i got a better idea got a better idea for a light baby So let's look in here and see. Turn it back on. And look at there. And there it is. The seal is already better. So look at that. Oh yeah. Like, see it's it's already closed down on there a little bit, so it's better. And the seal over there on that side. Let's see this side. Yep, it's all the way down on there. Oh yeah, baby, we fixed it, baby. We good. All right, y'all. So that's it, man. We wrapped that one up. So we was able to. Well, as far as like the uh, for the top mount, the top mount, the shroud, get those together. And I was able to fix that little thing, the issue that I had with the factory uh, engine cover pushing up into the little the, uh, the scoop, pushing it in. So that kind of ruined my seal once I got this other one, but we fixed that too. So that was all a success. So uh, it's another one, another one down. Get y'all ready for the Wednesday video. So be ready for that one. And uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and throw some comments in there. Let your boy know what you think. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you. Peace.